get started. Health balance, let's warm up this body. You can see okay on the line. Is everything good? All right. And you can hear how the competition says how squeaky the cellar sizer is. It doesn't have to be. I have to say that because they're always disparaging us. Okay, so just this is just helping get rid of stress and tension if it's nighttime. It's helping to stimulate circulation if it's in the morning, getting the lymphatic system going, and just warming up all the tissue of the body. This is what I think is even better than stretching. Um, if you can do nothing more than this, it's creating flexibility for all parts of the body. After coming up is the hip rock. Oh, don't do that. I know I did that. Okay, so we're just rocking left to right, but I'm dropping the shoulders a little bit because I want to get a little more flexibility in the back, the vertebral joints, and the disc. I've never seen it do that before. Hmm. It's a new routine, and maybe I was supposed to put in the settings. You can put a a rest period in between each move. So if you want to wait a moment between moves, you have the ability to do it, but we don't need that. So. Any other questions? Yes, yes, sir. Good, that's all right. Hope everybody's enjoying this and doing it. Okay, the next movement will be the twist. And we want to just lift the heels up and down and just gently twist at the waist. And again, we're just preparing the body. This is all just getting everything, breaking up blockages, stress, tension, increasing circulation, flexibility, stimulating digestion, elimination. We're actually targeting the smooth muscles right now, helping to put the colon and the intestine through a little washing machine effect. And if you take a digestive aid, it's like turning on the agitator in a washing machine. It's like, wow, this is going to work now. It's also helping with all the muscles that wrap around the hip area. And is the, one of the steps we take toward helping people that have sciatic issues. If you want to work the upper back a little bit, you can do it this way too. Okay, now we're going to do power breathing. Stay on the mat. And when you, okay, now we're pressing in. So we're going to be working on the chest and the shoulders. On the power breathing, don't do too much of it initially if you're your bronchial tubes and the lungs are sensitive or a little wheezy. It's not that it's going to hurt them, it's just going to, you'll feel it more the next day. So you want to kind of build up on that power breathing because it takes from wheezy um, bronchial tubes to strong bronchial tubes. Okay, now we're pulling out for 30 seconds. It's kind of arch, you want to Arch your back a little bit, kind of pull your chin in, so you maintain good alignment as we're bouncing up and down. Hmm. All right, now we're gonna push in again. So now we're gonna push in. And you can control the amount of resistance by how much you push. So you're not hurting yourself. You're just building up. Okay, and we're going to pull apart again.
And this is really working. Now, why, why are we bouncing doing this? Say, well, I could do this on the ground. Not really. One of the advantages of bouncing while we're doing is we're adding more weight, but we're also working the fascia and the skin. We're still working every other part of the body all at the same time. It's weight bearing on all 75 trillion cells, not just those muscles. Pushing in again. The reason I like uh, using the app personally is because this is what we do is we watch a television show and we put on the app and it dings in between each, show, each movement. So after it dings, we look through the next movement, continue to watch the show, and the time just flies by. She should be feeling some of that now. The shoulders of her back, okay, pulling apart again. This will really strengthen the upper back and the shoulders. In addition to weight bearing, we're also pumping. So while we're doing it, we're helping to back flush valves, stimulate the lymphatic circulatory system, increase oxygen blood flow to the brain, challenging our equilibrium and our balance, breathe, power breathing. Oh, I like that. Okay, now we're going to jog. But what we're going to do is the, the little face lift. So it's, you smile with your cheeks. You're going to kind of drop your chin, open your mouth a little bit. So we keep it smooth underneath the chin. And we're just going to jog like this. The reason is that we're causing the skin to flex around the muscles. And we're smiling with our cheeks and not overstretching the skin under the chin. And we're working the stomach by tilting backwards a little bit also. Okay, arm curls, we're pushing down and pulling up at the same time. We're going to do this for a while, so you guys, you can give your arms a good workout here. Now, while you're doing this, tighten your stomach muscles too. You can also tighten your buttocks. You're burning more calories. You bend slightly at the knee while you're bouncing up and down. You're going to be putting more resistance on the thighs. And again, these are all little subtle differences that make a big difference in the effectiveness. I spoke with a number of people today. Great reviews, great insights. And I've asked them to write me, and they said they would. So we should have some good reviews to share with you in a couple of weeks as well. And if you have some, absolutely. I, even if you've written in before, write again. Let us know updates. I'd love to hear them. OK, we're going to switch arms. And this is only the first set. We'll start to feel it more in the second, third sets.
But you can imagine doing this watching a television show. If you have kids, you can have the kids go through and we're do, using the male avatar on the Mr. Rebounder app right now. But we have a little superhuman cadet or spaceman and space girl that you can pick and change the avatar so they can be watching a show and doing their cellar sizing at the same time so they're not just a couch potato. They're a cellar sized potato. I really started promoting that during the COVID situation because so many kids were not getting enough exercise. Oops. And we have different music, so <laughs> you can pick different music. Normally when we're watching a show, we mute the music. There's a little mute button down by the music notes at the bottom of the screen. And when you hit that, it silences the music so you can watch the show. But you'll still have a ding in between each movement. All right, switch arms. And obviously the harder that you push, the more you're going to feel that. So just as I'm gonna let you do this one later. He's in good shape. So soon on our website, we're going to have videotapes highlighting more of the last 30 years of cellar sizing. And you'll watch me as I have gone through the years. But it's fun to watch highlights of the kids too, because they were really teeny tiny when they began. And we started videotaping them. And then my our grandkids, Jenna's kids, are now incredibly coordinated and they're all solar sizing. Our three year old Sophie, and she's a granddaughter, she's just like Avery and Daxon, who are a little older, they're phenomenal on it. Kids grow in their balance, their timing, their rhythm, coordination skills, and all of their activities when, when their kids or grandkids are on the solar sizer. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get ready to switch arms again. And hopefully you're feeling it now. Again, tighten the stomach and the buttocks, if you remember. See, this is more for strength and fitness, but we still burn over 125 calories already. So. so the wireless module is an add-on to the Mr. Rebounder app. The wireless module is what gives you the ability to see the intensity meter there, the number of bounces, the number of calories burned, 
the amount of time before the next move. It actually shows you what the next move is, which is going to be behind the back. And the neat thing about this is not a workout. It's a play-in. It can be fun. And I, I, you know, I, I've shared it before. We're the only species in the world that has bought into the idea you got to tear down to build up or you got to, whoop, other arm again. Sorry about that. Okay. I'll get them. There we go. So we've learned how to manipulate the body. And that's what most of these oh, health clubs and gyms do. They, they tear down the build up. And although it, it works, and, and there's many people that like that, it's still a manipulation of the body. We're the only species in the world that will do that. And yet, um, solo size is very different. You don't tear down, you build up. You can do this every day. You can do it every, several times a day if you want. You're taking the weakest of cells and you're building them up. You're not turning them down. So, it can help with anything. If you're involved with yoga, if um, you're involved with martial arts, it can improve your performance because it's creating an enormous amount of balance within the body. We're literally flexing the whole body collectively as a whole, not as parts. So the body literally becomes much stronger as a whole, not just as parts. And you've seen me demonstrate the strength and balance test on people, and it's a real test that increases strength and balance dramatically. Okay, I'm going to bear down a little harder now, as much as I can. So I'm working the tricep on the left arm and the bicep on the right arm. Okay, switch arms again. Yeah, this is the last one for the bicep and the triceps. So we're in May already, and it was snowing here yesterday and today. which was unexpected. It can happen, but we're up in the mountains of Utah. So that kind of looks like where we live right now. And your arms should be kind of pumped a little bit tomorrow. That's okay. You're working on muscles, ligaments, tendons, skin, fascia, all of it right now. Okay, so we're going to do it in the back. And in the back, we just want to kind of push down and pull up at the same time. And you can move your hands up and down if you, if you would like. 
It offers a little more stretch in the shoulder. You don't have to do it hard. You play on it, just do it, and it's, it is working on you. You'll get stronger naturally as, you, as you're able. Yes, Justice. Oh, wow, the arm exercise is in the app, question mark. Yeah, this is the app. We're doing the app right now. And not only are they in the app, we have a library of 65 different movements that you can combine, much as I have here. Okay, we're switching arms now, doing the other side. So we just switch the hands around. So you have 65 different movements in the app and you can combine them. You can work on the neck, the shoulders, the back, the arms, the legs, the waist, the stomach, the digestion, elimination. I think the lungs, I said. We've got weight loss, we've got muscle building, we've got the morning wake up. If you don't have a lot of time, you can do the morning routine. If you don't have a lot of time at night, just have a in you know, five minutes, you can do the nighttime routine to get rid of the stress, tension, and prepare for sleep. We've got all of those in the app, too. Okay, switch hands again. Yes, Justice. Um, Dave, do you mean this routine to be done every day or can do it every day? <laughs> you don't have to do it. I don't do it every day. No, no. This is 40-minute routine. This is something if somebody really wants a good exercise and they've got some time, they want to watch a show and, and they want to do this, they can do it. Uh, Sean says, can you turn around so you can see what you're doing? Yeah. You really feel that in the shoulders. A lot. <laughs> They're burning. Because I'm bouncing up and down, and that's increasing more weight, and I can feel it on the bouncing, too. And so we're going to switch shoulders again in just a moment. Great exercise for the shoulders. I love it because I feel it, and I know I need it. It's a good one. Switch. Hands again, we're doing it again this way. So you're actually, I'm pushing down with the left hand and resisting with the right. And then I'm pulling up with the right while I resist with the left. So it's just constant resistance, up and down. Oh man. It feels good. Oh, I feel that in the shoulders. It's great. You have to let me know if you feel it in the shoulders when we're done, too. Because it's working the back of the arms, where a lot of people want to work the back of the arms. But it, by lifting the arms up and down, you really work that shoulder as well. Okay. Baby health bounce. All right, just kind of wiggle those shoulders and arms out a little bit. Feels good. Oh, next, next one's gonna be the shoulder pump. All right. You can do it like a jumping jack if you want as well, but I do it a little bit more like this so that you're constantly getting a little more resistance. And this is helping to open up the rotator cuff and the shoulder, stretch those muscles and ligaments because a lot of this on a day-to-day -day basis, we're not really reaching overhead very much.
Okay. Number two. All of these are in the Mr. Rebounder app. Okay, we're gonna go back to shoulder pump one again. The first one. Okay, now we're working the upper back, shoulders, arms. Try to extend, that's what I'm doing, extending up as you move up. Now we're going to do the <laughs> shoulder pump two again, one we just did. <laughs> the next movement are going to be swirls out to the front. So we'll extend our arms out in front of us and do little swirls. So I said at the beginning of this, this is all upper strength, body, arms. We'll do another one of the face and the neck. How's everybody doing? I hope wonderful. <laughs> if you're still with me, you're doing great. Swirls up over the head. Good news is we're two thirds of the way done already. Okay, in a moment we're going to do shoulder twir swirls to the side.
by bouncing, you're putting more weight. See, when your arms are out, if you just stood there and did swirls, it would only be good for a few group of muscles right there in the shoulder. But by bouncing, you're putting more weight on the shoulders leveraged because your arms are extended, which makes it more effective. And you're also putting weight on the rest of the body. Hmm. Just, that's great. Ah, so you're gonna get some relief for a moment. We're gonna do shoulder swings. We're still leveraging weight, but we're also opening up <clears throat> the shoulder too. The neat thing while you're watching a television show, you don't have to stay in time with the avatar. You can actually just watch the show. Just look down and see what the next movement is. Okay, we're opening up the shoulder, the chest cavity. We're working the scapula area behind our shoulder blades. Okay, back to shoulder swirls. And then if you wanted to do the show or if you wanted to take this particular routine, if you wanna to add to it, you'll open up the routine We'll have this on the Mr. Rebounder app. This particular routine is not on the app yet. The movements are, but that we have the upper strength one, two. This will be number three. We'll get it up there. Now, if you open it and you clone it, there's a clone button. You hit the clone button, which is what I did with strength exercise number two. I basically just cloned it and added a few more movements then you can add more movements to it and save it under your own personal library under a different name. So to answer that question earlier, is it on the app? This particular routine will be on the app. And we'll probably, we'll probably put it in the intermediate section. I tell you, my shoulder is a lot more flexible this time around. I don't know if yours is or not, but definitely feels better. Hot to the side. As you get stronger and better, you reach. It's just kind of reaching out when you tour. <laughs> 10 seconds, you got this. Next movement's gonna be the shoulder swing. Is 
and it should be easier too. Okay, stretch the shoulder. You just hook up above the elbow, pull your shoulder toward your chin, and bounce. Yes? Barbara says, will that get rid of back pain? Yeah, that's what, what the, it can help. And the one where I had the arms behind the back, that's what targets that area as well. So you're still putting weight on the collagen and the skin, so it can help to make it more resistant and stronger. Hook and pull the other shoulder over. This is good for the, the back, the scapula area, the shoulder itself. So the, the bouncing takes, a, we have the stretch and then by bouncing, we take weight off and put it on so that it actually helps to stretch as well. Okay, natural face lifts. Open your mouth a little bit. Tilt backwards. You can do the same movement, kicking out, but um, that, that creates more leverage, so it's okay. I want to keep this in the intermediate section. Okay, now I want you to massage around your, your muscles in your face. Just gently massage those muscles. Okay, now we can put our hands on our throat and behind our neck. We can massage the the vertebral joints in the neck by doing those little circular movements and pushing in to the vertebrae. Just to help really move circulation. We're at the baby bounce. You did it. Thanks for joining us. I hope you felt some results. Again, it looks like we've been pumping weights, right? We have our own. We are pumping every cell to the body. You don't have to lift weight away from gravity. We're increasing the weight of gravity. And not saying that you can't do weight lifting, you can, but many of us just don't have time. And you can still maintain great physical strength and flexibility with cellar size. And it doesn't take a lot of time. You don't have to change your clothes. You have to drive anywhere. You can do it at the convenience of your at home with the television on, miss a rebounder app on, or air conditioning if it's hot outside. And it's convenient. So thank you again.